So Aurora was the previous Falcon. Jer- Falconess. Jer- 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 Falcon, yeah. Aurora uh, died, I think, in 2019 at the, the age of 23. Wow. Old um, Falcon. Yeah. But I think it was a good life for a bird Died in 2019. But um, so that must mean 23 was born in 97. So it lived through Y2K, which means some would call it the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cartier. I am Nova. Nova? The U.S. Air Force Academy's mascot. And I am a supernova. That is one of a type of star. I don't think it's a type of star. I think stars go through life cycles. Oh, okay. And I think the supernova is part of that life cycle. It sounds familiar. Yeah, why not? And this here is Frank looking good, looking spiffy. And the camera kind of looks like he's wearing a button-up, doesn't it? Or is that just my eyes not being able to see that far? I think it's your eyes. Yeah, I am blind. You're not blind. (laughs) Yes, I am. (laughs) Um, No, we love blind people. Uh, I'm actually thinking about learning American Sign Language. (laughs) What? How would that help a blind person? (laughs) Come on, cut this out. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. My ignorance is no reflection of my empathy. Um, what's up, guys? It's Thursday. How are you doing? Please tell me there's a holiday today. It's, it's Veterans Day. Oh, no way. Yeah. Why didn't I hear about this till just now? I uh, think I did. 11, 11, 11th hour and 11th minute. We and, talked about this yesterday? Well, we talked about Remembrance Day, Armistice Day, but it's also our Veterans Veter- Day. I have heard that. Veterans Day. You know what? Um... I saw a meme yesterday, and now it makes a lot more sense because it was a Call of Duty picture of like a bunch of guys jumping into battle, and it was like right. me and the boys tomorrow. And then there was like pinned locations of like Denny's and IHOP. Oh, because you and get I'm the guessing military discounts gets free for more, Veterans yeah, Day. Yeah, more than discount probably. Yeah, for, yeah. I mean, it's always a discount freebies. for Veterans Day. It's free <clears throat> pancakes or something. Not a bad deal. <laughs> yeah. Um. It is Veterans Day. That's why I am Nova, the U.S. Air Force Academy's living. It's a bird. Oh, yeah. Is there? Are they on their cup? Like their fifth Nova? Well, um, they had Aurora. Oh, so they changed the name. No, Aurora died. Well, that's what I'm saying. They changed. Like they don't. Because it's a real bird. Of course, it would have a different name. Well, I don't know if they just keep cycling through. This is our new Nova. Oh, I see what you're saying. No. That's even better. Wait, but it's their mascot or just their like... I know. Their special little guy. It was a little guy. confusing because we talked before about... Uh, first of all, you can see Veterans Day on our holiday podcast. Yes, one of the federal holidays. What was the place closed today? Uh, I don't know. It's like banks? I don't go to a bank. I don't go to bank, post office, or any governmental yeah. department. I was I was in a... Uh, I was in a... This is no shade to old people or to... Um, post offices but i was in a rush because i hadn't eaten all day and i needed to go play tennis so very good reasons to be in a rush Mm -hmm. and i'm driving back from a far place over yonder and someone pulls out of a post office and i i'm like okay well great then now they're gonna go so slow in front of me and sure enough they did why did i assume that because i'm like who still goes to post offices oh had to have been an elderly person old people um we also had an army podcast and mm, did we you know what it's funny now that we've done so many podcasts um we get confused even what we did i like, know uh even yesterday if you watch yesterday's persistence podcast there's one point where i'm like oh we had a blank podcast and i'm in my editing trying to like put a picture up of it and i'm like no we didn't that's funny and uh, you know what else is funny what? i'm not even gonna let you talk no that's i don't want to we have <laughs> We had a Candles podcast that was live in, in person. What do you mean? It still yesterday, exists? Yesterday we talked about... It still exists I don't know on it, the web... I don't know if it's a new one. I don't know if we confused what... what. But there's a there's a podcast of me holding a bunch of candles. Really? And the background is a big old nose. And it's... No, that's sense, I think. Oh. Uh, I think. But... I, I, I'll look it up because, okay. you know, I'm, I'm the archivist as well. Yeah. Um... We had an army podcast, so we talked about the army navy game, and the army has like a donkey, a mule, and the navy had has like a knight, a black yeah, knight, I yeah, think. Yeah, 
So I was looking for the Air Force mascot, but this was very specifically the U.S. Air Force Academy mascot, but it's a real falcon. It's a it's a Jir falcon, G-Y-R. Okay. Makes sense. It's very rare. Um Air Force flying bird. Yeah, they and they end little little is no little do people know that at the Air Force Academy there are um, cadets who are trained in falconry. Really? Yeah. Still. Wait, and we had a falcon podcast. Wow, we did. We're right? ta- falcon Friday. Sounds right. We had a Falcon Friday podcast. Yeah. Um. Now does <laughs> does the Air Force Academy like play sports? Why do you only ever yes. hear about the do? They do. Okay, As overshadowed a matter of by fact. Th- um, so Aurora was the previous Falcon. Jure, Falconess. Jure, Jure Falcon. Yeah. Aurora uh, died, I think, in 2019 at the, the age of 23. Wow. Old um, Falcon. Yeah. But I think it was a good life for a bird. Died captivity. in 2019. But um, so that must mean 23 was born in 97. So it lived through Y2K. Which means some would call it the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> so, but what you said, did they play football? Because in 2018, there was a football game and I believe, was it against Army? But they stole, you know, you steal the mascot? They stole the Falcon? They stole Aurora. And That's Ar- like, like, are you allowed to, like, I feel like a lot of people got their heads cracked for that. Oh. They threw a sweater over it and threw it in a dog carrier. And and then um, it started freaking out because I heard they're not very nice birds either. I can't imagine. I would never want to handle a falcon. No. And so they had... And I'm it. sure these guys weren't trained in falconry. No. Right? And they had to return it. But um, yeah, they're, they're not really to be trusted. So when they do bring them out at games and events, they don't let them fly. Um, they just show like and have them like latched right, on Like a their... photo op. Because yeah. one time, at, I think a different football game, the falcon flew away. <laughs> Never come back. No, they did. They found it in um, Louisiana or something. <laughs> <laughs> Those Falcons, man. So I'm Nova um, with the nod to Veterans Day. Fashion Nova is a brand. <laughs> yeah, um, not that one. I'm the military Nova. Mm. Mm. And um, yeah, so happy Veterans happy Day. Happy Veterans Day to all the veterans that are out there. And we figured this out on the holiday podcast. Veterans Day is different than. Memorial Day? Memorial Day is for those who fought and passed away. Okay. In battle? I think so. Veterans Day is... Yeah, because Memorial Day, it's like for those who gave their lives for their country. Okay. Veterans Day is your 24-year-old cousin Every, yeah. who did four years mm-hmm. will be celebrated for giving time, giving their, their, their bodies and minds and souls to their country for an extended period of time. Right. So, um, happy Veterans Day. And we also did a Krav Maga episode where we talked about the Israeli army. Um, <laughs> very dangerous. Eye gouges. <clears throat> Krav Maga, which all of the, all of the citizens have to, um, give their two years or yeah, four years or something. Two years. Unlike the United States where we live. No, there's too many people in the United States to make them all do that. Mm. Israel's real small, you know? Is they it? need the people. I never went. You never went? No. You know what I found out? Um, me and my sister were driving, and she's going to a Penn State game. Um, going to a Penn State game, and Penn State football, huge D1. The stadium fits uh, 110,000 people. And I'm like, she was telling me, like, I'm driving, just picking her up from like an airport, and I'm just like hungry. And like I said, <laughs> I need to play tennis. She's like, 100,000 people. Do you know how many people that is? And like, I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then I really started thinking about it, and I'm like, she had just um, flown back from Savannah. Okay. And I was like, I was like, what's the population of Savannah? And so she seried it. Population of Savannah, 140,000. No. You can almost fit all of like, you know, like. Wow. So when you, when you do you know, translate things, you can see how big right. something is. Like right. a stadium that holds 100,000 people. Like whatever, 100,000. Yeah, absolutely. How much is that? And then it's like every, per- every person who considers Savannah, Georgia, their home. Right. Would fit in that stadium. And even on a small scale, um, there's a TikTok audio being used right now and a lot of a lot of um little cra- crafters and etsy store people are using it and it's a, it's a guy talking and he's saying yeah i only have i don't know if it was three views or likes or shares or whatever sorry 13 i think it was but he said if 13 people came over to watch me what i'm doing i would be overwhelmed 
Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's funny. And that's true. That's definitely on YouTube. Yeah. You know, you just think, oh, five people, but. If one person was here listening. We lock everybody out of here. I would <laughs> I would be choking on my, my water. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's hard to fathom. It is. And once um, we're all in the metaverse, it'll be even worse. And even. How do you feel about the metaverse? How do I feel about it? Metaverse, just to quickly give you an intro. Facebook is now putting their money and their efforts into creating a metaverse. Created. Create, which basically is just a um, virtual reality internet. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you will go into your virtual reality and be able to connect with people, um, make yourself look however you want, do whatever you want, meet up with friends, all that. If anyone saw the movie Ready, Ready Player One, that's basically what's going to mm -hmm. happen. But, um, you know, maybe and actually in, in a in a uh, it's worth a talking about. Maybe we'll have a whole podcast to it. Um, because of the religious idea of this world that was created for us in our belief. And we say, eh, we're going to go create our own. Yeah. It's interesting. But you know what? If it if it, if it catches on. Um, Let's talk about it tomorrow. We'll have to have a presence. Yeah. Do you have anything to talk about tomorrow? No. I was thinking. I had Metaverse an idea. Friday. I had an I had an idea. What it will be? Metaverse Friday? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had an idea because, you know, I'm always looking like, because it's for Friday. So I was like, we could do F-Town Friday. <laughs> and um why are you laughing <laughs> sounds funny <clears throat> where we go to towns that begin with f flower town <laughs> there you go see <laughs> it's already clicking it's water town is that a place it's a road oh we could even just go somewhere that has a um, yeah, okay. friendlies <laughs> Friendly. <laughs> no towns yeah but fitzwater town is the whole name of the road it ends with town yeah maybe it starts with fitzwater feasterville town no it doesn't have to say town, but I just like if it's Feasterville, PA, or like yeah. um, even think it like we live Frankfurt, Germany, no <laughs> Philadelphia, yeah Philadelphia. <laughs> that's a PH. I know. Um, we live in a place France. Where, that's a country. We live in a place where um, it would be quicker for us to go to some places in Jersey. And Delaware than it would be for us to go to a place in Pennsylvania. Yeah, Pennsylvania stinks. No, that's not at all what I was saying. Just kidding. We love Pennsylvania. Every part of it. All right. So we'll talk about Metaverse later. I feel a little bold putting on the beanie. Now I don't know how I feel about it. I like it a lot. You like it? Yeah. That's because you're the beanie I'm person. I'm a beanie person. But um, it's it's definitely... Um, okay, I thought we were talking about tomorrow. For the season. The beanie. Oh. We're heading into... Well, uh, yeah. Well, every... <laughs> Every day of the year is beanie season for me, but that's um, what I thought. And I, I was like, you know what? It's a little cold, but I'm also a um, a liar. You know, you can't believe everything you see on the internet. Yeah, I look like I'm like dressed up for the cold. You love to show your legs, you <laughs> and you lost your tan. Spencer, get down! <laughs> oh my God, how many? You didn't learn your lesson at the time you fell. Nope. I will always show my legs whenever I get the chance. That's good. You know what? Yeah, while I still have them. It's I just say that. I feel like it. You'll always have legs. No. Hopefully. Really, you know, like 100 years from now, maybe not. What? Oh, are you saying that they would just not be sexy or are you saying you won't have legs? No, like I'm saying like, you know, life is temporary. And one day I'll be in heaven. You'll have better legs there. You think? Yeah, you'll, have, you'll be like Stretch legs. Armstrong. You can. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Or in the metaverse you know what yeah I mean, <laughs> more more realistically foreshadowing of uh, four legs okay anyway i feel of like that. dancing do you have any music for me spencer i meant walk through thursday spencer, no okay okay i don't like when i'm always I might scolding have to, you i might have to censor that because i showed up a, a lot of inner up, thigh, inner thigh. <laughs> <laughs> um are Wait, I see what you're saying. Guy. Okay, I, I'm, yeah. I'm catching your vibe. I know okay. what we're doing here. Right. It's walk through Thursday. Yeah. Roll the intro, would you? Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz walk through Wednesday just begun. What's up, guys? Welcome back. It is walk through Thursday. <gasps> if we had a buzzer. That was easy. Um, Like that one? No, like chess. It wouldn't make sense. Go ahead. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Really? Oh, you talk, I talk? 15 minutes. Because you know how... You know how 15 minutes? That's too long. No, we, we do a... We do a... Uh, 
That's actually a great idea. Okay. We do a 30-minute podcast. Mm-hmm. You know, other people, they do podcasts, and when we're done talking, we're done talking. We Sticklers, 30 yeah. minutes. So you get a chess timer, which it's probably programmed. That's sort of the amount of time you do chess games. Okay. 15 minutes. And you know how a chess timer works? Mine's going down until I do make my move, and then I stop it. So as long as I'm talking, right. it's going. And then as soon as I'm done talking, boom, you have to talk. Okay. And then that way... Some like you will by default both be talking exactly for 15 minutes each. Really? And then if I talk too much, then I ran out in the first 15. You got to take it on home. I like it. Let's try it. We'll try it. We'll how try much it are them. they? What? How much are they? Put, um, put it on our Amazon wish list. I mean, I'm sure you can get a phone app that does it, but I don't know if you it's want more fun. You want the yeah, real clicking. I want the real thing. It's walkthrough Thursday, guys. Wow. Best time of the year. Um, what is Walkthrough Thursday? Uh, uh, I'll tell you. What we do here on Walkthrough Thursday is we open up the Bible. Bible's open. Bible's open. And we pick a verse, a passage, a psalm, a proverb, and we analyze it. We put on our Sherlock Holmes hat and we will say, let's look deeper into this. And we, the idea of it is to try to find some meaning in the verse because the Bible's all about deeper meanings. Right. Now, isn't it? It is. And those deeper meanings might be different for you, to you, might be different for you, might be different for Frank. But the goal is for all of us to maybe look at it in a different way, in a different light. It's like ch- chocolate chip cookies. Okay. So if I, if we say, here, try my chocolate chip cookies, like I already, um, I know what chocolate chip cookies taste like or whatever. Yeah. There's so many different kinds. Yeah. And you never had mine. You, you never, never heard it from me. So this is what we, we got out of this passage. That's one way to put it. Um, yeah, so we're just going to slow it down, break it down, I don't know, shut it down. Uh, you know, sentence by sentence. Shove it down their throat. Line by line, word by, by word, word, syllable by syllable, syllable letter by, by letter, letter, pen stroke by pen stroke. Or I guess it's now ink stroke. I don't think people are writing. This is in the book of Kells. <laughs> I think our, our Bibles are printed out. Actually, if anything, it's pixel by pixel. We probably got it off the internet. Oh yeah. yeah, I get it just from memory. I have Whoa. yeah, I okay. have I have the Bible. John memorized. three seventeen. Um, I love everybody and everyone loves me. You know what? It's a safe bet. <laughs> okay, <laughs> safe safe bet. All right. Anyway, let's get into it. Why don't we? Okay, you're the reader. I like the book, and you're a good reader. <clears throat> oh wow! There's so much I like about this without even reading it. So first, we are reading proverbs why do we like proverbs solomon solomon wrote them and who is solomon he's the son of your friend david he's the son of my good pal dave um most of you know him as david king david i know him as dave but we are reading proverbs 23 what's my favorite number 12 no it's 23 oh i thought you were leading me into the verse no <laughs> you know what my favorite number was 23 but i kind of don't know because like oh. i don't know how i feel about it oh because I didn't choose 23. You know, some people choose a favorite thing because that's like, I like this color because I like I the think way most it, people. What? Most people. Yeah. Most people. Where else would you exactly. get it? Exactly. Oh, boy. And that's what happened to me. I didn't choose 23. 23 chose me from a little age of a kid. It was just popping up everywhere. Oh, okay. You know, if I was, if I was Interesting. writing my name in line, I would be on line 23. Pop up, pop up, pop up. Why my di- my my dis- not disdain that sounds because you know the universe wants me to have twenty three, but is because of Michael Jordan. Oh, he's number so twenty three. Anytime in sports or you know my favorite. Number of course, is you want that number. Yeah, yeah. I want to be like Mike, and it's like no, I didn't choose this. I want to be like the Psalm. I want to be like some proverb. No, the twenty third Psalm. Oh, <laughs> yeah, twenty third Psalm. Yeah, I didn't yeah. Think about that. So yeah, that's my little my little spiel on twenty three. I give it if my number was like you know fourteen. It's like. That would be mine. And it's like, wow, 14 chose you? I wonder why. 23, it's like, okay, why don't you go buy some Air Jordans, pal? Well, aren't you Generation Z? Yeah. They're not going to know Michael Jordan or his number. They're going to know Michael Jordan. Well, actually, no, they're no, it's not. My, uh, I bet if we ask some, so I think you might be an impostor because if I went and asked, uh, there's a Gen Z across the, across the road here. If I go ask her, what's Michael Jordan's number? She'd be like, who's Michael Jordan? No. Yeah. Some I'm Gen Z. You just revealed yourself. No, what? Michael Jordan <laughs> who? Sorry, I meant... Uh, I meant... 
Oh gosh. Okay, well this is in Proverbs 23, so I like both those things. And then we're finishing with what verse from Proverbs 23 is 12. A dozen. When 12 means nothing to me. No. But Proverbs 23, 12. And 12 it, apostles. It reads like this. Apply your heart to instruction and your ears to words of knowledge. Okay. Okay. I, I feel like I've seen that on posters. Have you? Yeah. Apply your heart to instruction and your ears to words of knowledge. And it's from the New International Version. Do you want me to read some other versions? Sure. The King James Version reads, Apply thine heart unto instruction and thine ears to the words of knowledge. Pretty similar. Just Almost, with a little yeah, just thine old, and old unto. Old English, yeah. The complete Jewish Bible. Jewish Bible. Isn't that just the Torah? Or is that different? I don't know. But if you go on BibleGateway.com in the drop down box, you can okay. you can um, choose it. Apply your word. Uh, Apply your mind to discipline and your ears to words of knowledge. Okay. And now finally, we have the International Standard Version. Mm. Learn diligently and listen to words of knowledge. So they completely just said, forget about apply. <laughs> um, okay. All right. So um, you read four... Uh, 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 to jump to the bottom, the very last word... Of Proverbs twenty three twelve is knowledge, and, and that's power. And knowledge, knowledge is power. What is that from? Is that GI Joe? I don't know, but um, if how do you feel about the word knowledge? It's probably one of the most important things. Knowledge and wisdom, right? Wisdom and knowledge. I think you want to seek knowledge in your life. Uh, the all more your knowledge life. you have, the more wise you are. Is that how it is? I don't know, but I feel the safer you are. Knowledge. Well, no, knowledge is. We'll have to come back to it. So let's just start at the top then. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the small ones that really get us. Apply your heart to instruction. So um, let's do the first word, which is apply, right? Mm -hmm. Apply, apply, except for international standard, which is learn. But um, also in the Jewish Bible, it's not talking about heart. It's talking about your mind. Right, but we're not. There. We're not doing. Yeah, no. Sorry. Apply. Apply your heart to instruction. Apply, apply thine heart unto instruction. Means dedicate. Right. Yes. So we're going to dedicate um, your heart to instruction. Okay. So you you just said that um, the Jewish Bible is saying mind instead of heart. Um, so we're going to dedicate our heart or mind. Yeah. Why do you think the Jewish Bible doesn't want to say heart like everyone else. It's, because, it, you know. It's, it's an abstract term, right? Heart. It's an abstract term. Like your heart isn't a real, it's like it's a function and or, organ. Maybe they're being more serious, but I kind of like it because, yeah, I, hmm, I'm going to drop down and go down to the international standard version. Okay. And it says learn diligently. That's what it, that's what instead it says. Instead of that. Okay. Uh, instead of, um. Apply your heart to apply instruction. your heart to instruction. I kind of like it. Learn diligently, because what is it to have like a hardened heart, right? What does it mean? You're not open to. You're not allowing information to come. You're through. not. You're not. Yeah, it's it, it's. You're not open, and it is an active thing of like, like it's almost like this whole thing. I think is apply your heart to instruction is. Keep your heart open for like to instruction. Right. It's it's not keep your heart open to like I think there it's 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 right to put these words in this order because knowledge is what is what's come going in. Right. And your your heart is what you're learning. Right. I think I think a lot of people switch it, mm -hmm. and I think that's where you find. Um, people that are condemning of others yeah where the knowledge is in their heart we talked about it we talk about it so many times where someone right. says i'm judging you because i love you and i want you to to do better right like i want you to go to heaven with me right right i love you what is that that's knowledge coming out of the heart right like that's because i like it, it's all coming from that that place mm -hmm. rather than your heart being open and the knowledge going in into 
your ears is, right. is the words of, of knowledge. And, that, and I think that's the distinction of right. your heart can't be closed. And it's like, well, my heart's got knowledge and that's the way I'm going to love people is through knowledge. It's like, no, right. your heart needs to be open. Right. And and, and, the, and you want to learn. The, Always learn. That's what the... In- right. But like the words are like heart and mind, not brain. Yeah. So, I, you know, I'm feeling well, yeah. that it's telling us this knowledge is not how to change a tire knowledge yeah it's a spiritual knowledge yes yes and and yeah i, d- I definitely like the last one just that learn to, to go back to that mm-hmm. that learn diligently it's what is what does diligently mean i actually think you wrote it here didn't you yeah it's on the oh i like this actually definition characterized by steady earnest and energetic effort painstaking so it's learn learn not passively not passively <laughs> right and and I think keeping your heart open to learning because I think one of the worst things we can do is for anything really, but mm-hmm. especially in faith is think we know the answers. Right. And the idea of always, you know, have your your heart open to instruction. It's right. You don't, you don't know. Like you're, it's all, it's always this, this flowing and it's like right. your ears never, never say I know everything. My ears are closed off and my heart has the knowledge in it. It's, right. The instru- the the knowledge is going into your ears. Your heart's always open for the instructions of what should I do next? Like, right. like what what should I do now? What's the right thing to do? Um, you remind me of being diligent in in um in that opening your heart to instruction when you read the Bible because you said that even though you had been brought up with the Bible and you knew it, but you want so and that was you painstakingly. You said sometimes you had to reread it because. You couldn't get the passage, yeah. but you you were diligent in your learning to read the Bible because you wanted to open up yourself to for you to learn it and not just for you to yeah yeah to um and, accept with and, someone else um yeah and if we're going with that it's a listen to the words of knowledge or um apply your ears to words of knowledge. There is I feel like even though doesn't say it directly here there's there's like an openness about this it's like to have your ears listen to knowledge and right. your heart to be there there's an openness and i think with yeah reading the bible it was this idea of i'm going to forget about anything i learned right. like i am going to simply open my heart for instruction right. and my ears to the words of right. knowledge and, and only really then when you drop the pretenses of what you think you know and, right because that's all closed off like right the second you say i i think i know you're you, you're closed off like right you ever try to have an argument with someone like that like about anything like about you know uh politics yeah i can get into it but right i was talking to somebody and they were talking about arguing with somebody else and very different sides of the field mm-hmm. and i said to them i'm like why are we still you know when, when po- politics got real big in the past six years and it made sense. Like it was like it went from hush, don't talk about your party to everyone talking about the right. party. And now years have passed. Right. And there's still a, like a, a casual bickering right. between, you know, lunch tables. Right. And it's like both of your ears are closed. Like like yeah. let, let, like can you not see that and right. see that you're not you're not neither of you going to open your ears or your eyes to to see the other side or try to understand the other right. side. Right. So it's pointless. Yeah, I it, um, it, I just made a joke and I said I I memorized the Bible and that's where I get my Bible verses. Which of course, I didn't, and you didn't. No. But to learn to open your heart and to read the Bible yeah. because you're trying to just to soak in that knowledge into your heart is different than reading the Bible because you want to spit it back out. Yeah. You know, when you learn a foreign language, when you're thinking, like translate it, repeat it, vocabulary list, you don't learn it as well as when you just want to talk fluently. Yeah. You know what's funny? You know, we're getting to the end of the podcast. We are. In a way, what we're doing on this podcast, Proverbs 2312, on these walk through Thursdays is what this is saying. It's not. You it know, is. Like, like, apply your heart to instruction and your ears to words of knowledge. The idea of walk through Thursday, like we said, is to drop the pretenses of the sign on your wall that says right. that says a Bible verse. And it, it's to look at it with open ears right. and open hearts and hear the knowledge that's, that's being said through it and, and to learn learn dil- i like that i like that international standard version i don't know what it is maybe that'll be your new 
favorite version. <laughs> Maybe. And I just want to say one more thing. Uh, since it's a walkthrough Thursday and we pull all the words, the fact that all the versions say words of knowledge or word, um, don't forget that the word in the Bible means God. Yes. So again, it's words of knowledge like, oh, how to invest in the stock market? No. I'll just say quickly, John 1, 1, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Mm -hmm. So when you read it and you're saying words of knowledge, it's different than, like I said, a brain instruction. It's, yeah, it's not talking about you're, you're a rocket scientist. Right. It's, and I think that's where, uh, what did I say? No, I don't think I saw it anywhere. But yeah, I mean, I, I think that's that's the knowledge we're talking about. And that's why I compared it to what we're doing and we're my yeah. or reading the Bible. This is what we're literally right. doing is it's when you read the Bible, you can read the Bible over and over again and, and something new is being yeah. spoken to you through your ears. And the idea is to keep your heart and ears open and keep going back and looking at right. it. And it might mean something totally different. And not one person can tell you no. that that's right or that's wrong it's it's meant to speak to you living word the living word and with that said um that's it that's it for this this podcast on this beautiful thursday mm -hmm. and uh we'll be back tomorrow for metaverse friday um where you can come visit us virtually Ooh, this was you bible verse thursday you know, tomorrow's metaverse friday yeah, you know what we'll talk about it tomorrow but you know how you always got to get on the next thing yeah Maybe we should be the like we should look into it now. Be the first. I like your whispering, and we're putting this on the internet. <laughs> be the first metaverse podcast. No, you know what? The same way, like you're like right. New news turned to podcast. You're right. Remember, we just said we'll be scared of fourteen people. We'll be seeing those fourteen people. Ooh, you meet know us I mean? in the metaverse. Meet us in the, I'll be. I'll be. I'll be a metaverse traveling. You will acapella. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll be back tomorrow. Peace.